All right, so this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I have been rejoicing and being glad in it because it's already 4 o'clock and it's the first time I've been able to film today. I just wanted to announce that Roger's gotten home. We've changed over Claire Bennett and my bags and stuff for the day. And I am once again trying out my full rate, my full 24-hour rate. So wish me luck. Hopefully it'll be successful this time. And the queen is in her spot on top of Raj. Laying down the star of all the vlogs right here. Dog vlog. Look, Lucy, who is that? Sorry, so close, Raj, sorry. Look, Lucy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, the Lucy's clip for the day. Well, I think my thumbnail from yesterday's vlog still um, is true. And if you haven't seen that, then I'll go ahead and tell you what it is. But you can look at it uh, on the channel. Because I put on the thumbnail, in quotes, nothing much is going on today. And then I put dot, 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 said no chronic illness vlogger ever. And that's because yesterday, it was 3 o'clock by the time I could get my camera out. And I said that, and then the water thing for the animals went crazy, and Roger and I were, we could, there were so many funny things that happened last night, um, and then we had my body refusing to tolerate the, the, the full rate that we were excited to get to last night. Uh, today, tonight rather, it's really dark, you can tell. I have a light here where I'm editing yesterday's vlog or the vlog right before this one however that's going to work out once this one's posted i guess it will say yesterday uh, even though by the time you see it the vlog that is posted to, on your yesterday which will be today is my tomorrow for today <laughs> sorry okay i'm gonna stop doing that on vlogs main thing is i said nothing was going on and it was boring and then that happened so what I'm going to say instead of that today, since I really have not been able to do anything. My home health nurse came today and bless her heart. I, I didn't count the IV sticks today, but we went through all of the IV start kits that we have here. I can't wait until I'm able to start my IV treatments and just have my port put in. But at the same time, I still need the home health and the, the fluids when I'm not getting enough and I'm dehydrated. And the frustrating thing was, and tell me if you all experienced this, because the nurses always seem to be surprised, but I always tell them, like, no, don't worry, it's not the first time it's happened. They'll get the vein. Now, a lot of times they can't. A lot of times my veins have had to be poked and prodded so much that they'll bounce back like rubber bands when they're stuck with an IV, or they will roll, like, major, they, they just run away from the IV. They'll show up, and then they'll immediately go away as soon as you start to try to stick them. But today, we actually, mm, half of them, about, we probably actually got in, and it was in my vein, and everything felt and looked right. And as soon as you started to, to infuse, it infiltrated. So we got up in the double digits today, I do know that. I stopped counting, though. Um, I just feel bad for my nurse. I feel bad for any nurse that has to try to stick me, because that is not... Not a fun thing. My veins are still really sore from that dextrose that I had at the hospital. Tomorrow I will have been discharged for two weeks. And I think my veins are still really sore from that week I spent in the hospital. That third week that I spent in the hospital um, a couple weeks ago. For that, the, the continual dextrose drip has just obliterated my veins. And they're hard and they're almost like rubber elastic bands that are like really pulled tight like they're 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 just not cooperating and I know I'm not the only one that's ever had a problem with blood draws so I have just become a notoriously ridiculously hard stick and you know a lot of that was probably the five six seven years of Remicade and other IV immunosuppressant medications before we knew what my real illness was not bitter about that at all no you know what i'm not bitter because okay here's today's <clears throat> here's today's pearl of wisdom bitterness is stupid <laughs> how eloquent was that 
Bitterness is stupid. What good does it do you to stay bitter about anything? And I say this more for myself than anyone because... Well, I usually say this stuff more for myself than anyone because I'm bad at holding on to stuff. And if I get bitter about something, I have a hard time letting it go. But I'm not going to even let my mind go to bitter anymore because it serves no purpose. So anything that you're bitter about, just know that if you're seeing this, you know that there's no purpose to it. It's not serving you. It's not serving you well. well I mean, what's it doing for you, really? I don't even know how I got on that topic, but I think it's a good reminder for us all to remember that being bitter or holding a grudge or being jealous or anything like that, it just completely, all that does is put a cloud in your life that doesn't need to be there, a self-created cloud over your life. Why would you add clouds to a life that God has seen fit to give another day? Your life, if you're watching this, God gave you today. Why add your own cloud to it when all you have to do is let go of that stuff and realize that there's no point in it? It doesn't hurt the person or the situation that you're bitter at or about. It hurts you, period. It just puts a big cloud over everything that you do. So that's what today's vlog ended up being about. No more bitterness. I guess that's the kill sign. I hope that's not like a... I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, kill the bitterness. Yeah, kill the bitterness. And there you go. Do what you think you can't do. Yes, I stole that one, but I had the shirt on, so it fit. If you don't think that you can let go of your bitterness, let go of it and prove that you can do what you think you can't do. Sorry, I look like a creepy uh, ghost person in the dark having to use the flash from two different other screens here because I couldn't get up to turn the light on or film in the light, and my head's hurting very badly. So I'm going to stop now. But bitterness, bye-bye. We will not see you tomorrow. However, I will see you tomorrow. One last note for the night before I lay down to try to sleep. I am still at my full rate. We turned it up, or we got it to that around about 4.30, and it's now 11.06. I'm having an awful lot of nausea and distension and, and weird feelings um, but I'm trying to write it out and I'm bending my G port on Claire Bennett as necessary to help with the nausea and the just the air and stuff like that so hopefully the longer I'm able to tolerate this rate the easier it'll get and the the quicker this whole process will be and the easier it will be so that's that's what we're praying about sorry I'm in the dark again I know but it is what it is when I can only hold one hand there. Hope you all have a great night. Good night.